I'm here with Sarah Newman and she's got a really fun twist on a packing tape transfer. Exactly. I'm going to show you some really fun ways to incorporate your own photos into your paper crafts using simple packing tape. It's a photo transfer and it's super easy to do, Julie. So the first thing you need to start with is, besides your packing tape, and you can find that at your local hardware store or mm -hmm. probably your own garage <laughs> if you're like me, and then you also need some color copies of your photographs. Now, what I recommend you do is um, get several photos on one sheet, and I size these down to about three by four. Print them off on your home printer or load them onto a disc and take them down to your local copy shop and have them print out several so that you have lots of pages to play with. Because you were saying they can't actually be an inkjet print. It has to be toner-based. Exactly, exactly. And that's really going to be the most successful route for you. So trust me on this one because I've tried it with the other ones and it's not quite, as, <laughs> not quite as good as what you would think. Then you just need to trim out your photos. And Julie, if I can pass this over to of you, course. if you wouldn't mind cutting out my little flower I'm and bumblebee. Now, do I have to actually cut on the line? Can I, it could be general, like how close to the photo do I need to be? You can be very general and okay. you can trim off any excess by hand later. So just trimming around the outside edge of that will be just perfect. Okay, just and it's great it. to have those nice straight lines on there too. And I don't actually need to cut particularly, like this can stay. Exactly. It's clear. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So and you have one that's already cut out? I've got one that's already cut out. I'm just gonna put it down onto my craft sheet here. And now I need to cover it with my clear tape. So if you wouldn't mind handing me one yes. of those strips there of tape. You go. And it's important to work with um, strips of tape that are not really, really long mm -hmm. because it just gives you more that can get tangled. So I'm just gonna put this down, working slowly and smoothing it down as I go. So I've got one strip down. And this is the reason, of course, you might wanna get several copies because if you mess up, you really can't pull it back up. Exactly, exactly. And you do want to make sure when you put them down that you're working slowly enough that you, would, you don't get wrinkles or air bubbles. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting my second piece of tape overlapping the first piece of tape. And that's actually quite a big overlap. It's not yeah. like you're trying to do a tiny, skinny, skinny overlap. Exactly, exactly. So, and the, the overlap won't show, so don't worry about that. Now I need to burnish down my tape, and I use the handle of my scissors for this, so this makes a really great shortcut. Well, another tip that I have done before is some brands of clear contact paper, mm -hmm. which is bigger, you can actually use as well. We'll do oh, the same yes. thing. Yeah, definitely. So I'm just gonna pull this up off my craft sheet and I've got a, a nice wide border on here. So I just need to trim, and this is where you can use some of that white area around the border of the photo, just so you don't end up with it sticking too much That's to your great scissors. Idea. So now I've got a piece that has been already trimmed out and I'm going to, again, work on my craft mat, turn this over so that it's paper side up and then take a water bottle, any kind of spritzer bottle, and you really just need to spray and spray and really saturate the reverse side, the so paper side. one time side. you want to get your photo soaking wet. Exactly, the only time. And it usually kind of sets people up a little bit like, oh, I don't know that I'm supposed to do that. Then I turn it over and I do a little kind of smush and mush and mm -hmm. really get that. Very technical term. That is a very technical term. And flip it back over. And then sometimes I spray again. I mean, you really want to get it wet. Mm -hmm. And I can actually see the places where it's really soaked, it's changing color. And exactly. you want that, right? And then this is the next step. This is just simply rolling off that white paper. And you can see this little bald patch in here. This is where my photo is it transferred onto my tape. That is so cool. So this is this is all you need to do. And then you'll just need to continue rolling mm -hmm. until you've removed all of that white paper on I there. I have to admit that I'm a lazier crafter than you are. <laughs> and so one of the things I often do is I often take a bowl full of water yes. and I just leave them sitting in there for like 10 minutes oh, yeah. so that I don't have to actually pay attention to it and actively okay. go. It just makes it a little easier to peel, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like having the resistance of the table underneath, so that just works better for me. So either way is yeah. great. No well, that's the great thing about crafting, right, is there's so many different ways to get the same result. It's what feels right for exactly, you. Exactly, exactly. Now, watching me roll off this tape mm -hmm. is not the most exhilarating part of my demo, so I brought, <laughs> I'm enjoying in, it. I brought in a part that has already been um, 
all of that paper has been Okay, removed. let me clear this out of the way for okay. you. Okay. And, we can and by the way, this is such a smart thing that you're doing, and I just want to point it out. This is a, from an old sheet of stickers, right, that you yeah. used all up, and yeah. it's a great way to save a transfer for later. Exactly. So I could just, because this does have some stick left on right. it, so you can just put these down onto an old sticker sheet. You can see that I'm one of those crafters that saves everything, and Me this too. is why. Me too. So then comes the next part where you can really play with the different papers that you can layer this on, because you notice the ethereal sort of quality mm -hmm. to it. So I could put it onto something that has been stamped, something that has been sprayed. You could also put it onto a piece of paper that has been gessoed. It doesn't have to be gessoed, but I like how that's knocked back the text a little bit. Exactly, exactly. And I'm actually going to put this down onto a piece of paper that has some Chinese writing on it. And Very then just cool. smooth this down. And you can see the transparency. It really provides kind of a dreamy quality mm -hmm. to your photos. And it's a great and you don't have to add any extra adhesive. No, exactly. If you need to add a little bit of stick glue on mm -hmm. the sides, that works as well. But then you can see my finished card on here. That's beautiful. And you brought some other examples, which I want to make sure that we look through. Exactly. So this one has a sprayed background going behind those trees. Mm -hmm. And a black and white type of silhouette photo is a great way mm -hmm. to incorporate that. Here's a I can totally one. see this on a layout or something yeah. like that. It's a great embellishment. And it's a great way to get some of those landscape photos that are not necessarily focal photos in yes. a really interesting artistic way. Exactly. This works beautifully for art journaling, mm -hmm. um, ATCs if you size down your oh, photo. Great idea. So this is actually a color copy of an old ledger paper that I found. Oh, I didn't want neat. to use the original, so I made a color copy. <laughs> of that. This is on that gesso background paper and you can just slightly see it coming through. And then this is a journal cover and I stamped on this. So you can stamp on top of it or underneath. Sarah, so many great ideas. I'm really excited. I love tape transfers. Oh, thank me you. Too. My pleasure.